What's up, everybody? Woo woo! Episode 86, maybe? 86? I think we're on episode 86. But anyways, so I just got home a little while ago. It's almost 11 o'clock. I, I left work about like 10 o'clock. I was supposed to go out for a friend's birthday. LK, I'm sorry I'm missing your birthday um, celebration right now. They're already out and about. Um, probably just not going to be able to make it out. I have to work tomorrow. Tomorrow's my last day. Um, I work... First thing starts at 11, so I probably should be there by like 10. Um, so, yeah, I have to go to bed soon. And I'm not going to be able to make it out. So, sorry, LK. Happy birthday. You're awesome. You're the best. Um... I don't even know if you watch my vlog, but yeah, sorry. Um, but yeah, like I said, tomorrow's my last day. Um, so I'm going to be figuring that out. And then probably going to a C2E2 pre-party event for Age of the Geeks. Um, so maybe I'll be able to film some of that or get some footage in on that. But that's about what's going on with me right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to talk about for the rest of this vlog, so I'll be back in a few minutes. All right. All right, so it has been a while since I have done a book review. I have not finished this book. As you can see, I'm only about halfway done. But I at least want to talk about this book because um, I'm already getting a lot of good information out of it. So basically, this is another one by Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, I like the way he writes. He actually doesn't write. He has a ghostwriter because he's not... He says he's not that great of a writer, that type of thing. Um, he's a gross writer, but the way he explains and breaks down things um, is very easy and very simple for me to kind of understand, rather than other authors. Sometimes it's harder to, for me to translate things. But the thank you economy, let's see if I don't butcher this, and I actually kind of can explain what it's about. Um, but so far he's talking about how just in the past, when there was like smaller towns, things like that, um, you would go to the butcher or the bookstore guy or whatever that you had the best relationship with, that was kind to you, those types of things. They knew your name, those, those types of things. Um, and you kind of had more loyalty to those types of people. Um, and then the world has just kind of changed in general with the internet and people shopping online and these types of things. And for a while, companies were able to get away with... Um, not being so kind um, and just not having like that great service and those types of things. If people had questions, they had like just random emails that were sent back, but they didn't take the time to actually um, be, build those personal relationships. Um, but it's starting to funnel into another way he is explaining where um, those types of relationships and those types of things actually mean a lot for businesses. Um, and the ones that are going to thrive are the ones that build those connections, um, build those bases of customers and those types of things, rather than um, just those types of people that are putting them off. So that was a weird explanation. You know, I'm not very coherent when I try to explain things. But basically, it's kind of a business book, and it's talking about being kind to people. It's about building relationships. It's about getting people what they need. Um, that type of thing and through like empathy and just knowing that if that person tells if that person has a complaint back in the day um, maybe if they tell someone it's gonna affect like a couple customers but these days if one person tells a bunch of people it can spread like wildfire and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people could not want to actually shop at your business because you weren't kind because you weren't doing the right thing um, because you weren't helping people out and going the extra mile for your customers. So um, it gives a lot of good perspective and re and looking into what I want to kind of do next with my career um, and where I'm going, which I'll explain in a few days um, where I'm going to be going, what I'm going to be doing. Um, but I think it has a lot of good gems in there, a lot of good knowledge um, that can be very helpful. Um, but yeah, I I highly suggest this if you're any type of business owner, any type of thing like that, um, and you want to learn about how to make your customers happy and get people coming back and be loyal to you. Um, so it's a great book for that. So, yeah, that's my little book rant. I um, figured I'd do that one tonight, and then I'll talk about new jobs and things like that later this week when I have more of an opportunity to. 
Um, but that's probably going to be it for tonight. Maybe I'll read a fortune. I haven't read a fortune in a while. Let's see. Fortune time. Fortune time. Fortune time. Fortune time. All right. Maybe this is really going to say something good. Your mind is creative, original, and alert. So thanks for the compliment. So I know I'm kind of creative because you can figure out different ways to do things. I make a lot of costumes and random weird things. Um, it's original, so sometimes they're original ideas, I guess. And it's alert. Uh, sometimes I think my mind's just all over the place, but I guess I'm alert to a lot of things. Recently, with a friend, I discovered that I'm very... Maybe I'll talk about this in another day, but I'm a very, let's just say, like, analytical person and try to get everything right, but then I get frustrated with myself because I feel like I'm being too analytical. But I'm going to talk about that mindset some other time. Um because that I could go on and on about that. But yeah, so basically, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for continuing to watch. I know it's not a lot, and it's just already late at night, and I didn't get a lot in for this vlog. Sorry about that. Had a good, kind of goodbye party today. Played some ping pong. Won a few games. Um, actually, won all the games, except for at my party. I lost the first two. With the battle I had, but then I came back and crushed the same guy a million times. Um, but yeah, ping pong's my sport, so if everyone's trying to play and try to get worked, I, I got you. So, um, ping pong, I had some pizza, it's kind of going away party at work. A few of them have seen my vlog, so they were like, oh, you should put us on the vlog. But I kind of try to keep my, like, that type of work out of my vlogs because, I don't know, I need a little bit of separation sometimes. But yeah, that's it anyways. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see all of you tomorrow. And peace!